Hello everyone, today in our series of interviews we have with us Dr. Calypso Chelkidu who is the Director of Global Health and Development Imperial College London and an ex-director of NICE. She has served as a visiting professor at King's College London, Senior Advisor at International Policy Centre for Medical Technology Policy, Honorary Senior Lecturer at London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, Analyst and Associate Director, Research and Development at NICE, National Institute for Health and Care Excellence and Basic Surgical Training Rotation at NHS. Thank you so much, Calypso, for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. So, being a global health systems expert, what are your views regarding improvement in the quality and efficiency of healthcare systems around the world? Well, I think that's a difficult question. <laughs> um, I, think, I think you're right that countries around the world are committing to improving the quality and uh, the access to healthcare for their populations. And uh, the difficult thing is to ensure that this happens in a way that's financially sustainable and uh, ensures that people do not become impoverished by accessing services. And so I think events like today's are very important, where experts from around the world are reflecting on issues such as prices and escalation of costs for areas of treatment such as cancer care. So I believe it's possible, but I think it requires strong government and it requires also good information and spending and strong processes for deciding what is being spent and measuring the quality and outcomes of healthcare interventions. So there's a long debate on money versus medicine. Whose side are you on? Well, I think, I think good value medicine uh, is, get, can be a reality. I don't think it's, uh, it's hard to achieve, but I don't think it's uh, impossible to achieve. And at the same time, it could be that when we spend too much money on health, we get bad outcomes too. So um, if you take the example of the United States, <laughs> it's an outlier and you get, of course, pockets of excellence, but also uh, bad care for some people or no care. Mm. And therefore, I believe that um, it's possible to achieve good quality, affordable health care for all. And Thailand, for instance, is a good example of a country which mm. has achieved exactly that. Okay. So do you think that pursuit for value for money should be the central concern in all health systems? I think it should be one concern. I certainly don't think it should be an end in itself. Mm -hmm. It's a means to better health. Mm -hmm. So if we want to make sure that uh, everybody gets access to basic care, uh, there needs to be some consideration of mm -hmm. uh, how the money is spent. And if we want to make strong cases to treasuries and ministries of finance that more money needs to be spent on health, because that's true, it's an important need, then we need to be able, as healthcare professionals and healthcare policy people, uh, explain to explain how this extra funding is adding value. So, can you share experience about your involvement in different Indian projects and how these projects have helped the Indian healthcare system? Well, we're, we're delighted to be working with the government of India. We've worked at state level. We've worked with states like, for instance, in the south with uh, mm. Kerala, which uh, we all know has very good outcomes, but still strives to improve. Um, mm. It was a great experience working there on maternal care. Mm. Uh, but we've also worked working now with the government of India, uh, ICMR, DHR. We're working on um, processes for introducing health technology assessments. Um, and as advisors to the government of India following uh, their lead and uh, it's still early days but uh, we hope that uh, our contribution will be add some value and we look forward to continuing our work. So uh, you've been associated for NICE for about 12 years so what is your experience with that and how do you think NICE guidelines can help in better practice management? I think NICE guidelines are then are up to date, are developed through rigorous methods, uh, but at the same time they're specific to the UK and the National Health Service, so the costs we use are linked to the NHS, and therefore I believe there's a uh, need to adapt, um, not just to adopt everything that NICE develops. And of course the Indian setting is very specific, and India is a big country, so across mm. India there's differences as well. Mm. And I think that's very important that uh, the Indian guidelines um, continue to be developed and then applied uh, across the country. But NICE guidelines certainly can help as a reference point. Yeah. So do you think an online platform of doctors like Docplexis can help raise uh, awareness in an economic like India and the healthcare system? I think so. I think it's... Uh, 
it's impossible not to have such a platform if you want to reach people. And mm. uh, and I think using the power of um, of technology is is an imperative. And I think you're doing a great job. Uh, um, and I believe that uh, it's important for people to network and share experiences and learn from one another. In a country like India, and in a global economy as well, you cannot do this physically. So Definitely. this is the only way. Okay. Thank you so much, Kalipto, for joining us. Thank you very much for us. Thank you. Thank you. To stay updated on our latest scaled videos and interviews, please follow us on Twitter, like us on our Facebook page, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy dog flexing!